changed the world. Hello, hello, and welcome back to Hitman 3 and the trending contracts. And today's contract, all of the workers only, set in Whittleton Creek. And the contract ID is up on the screen now for anyone who wishes to have a go at it and has been supplied to us today, courtesy of Mido KSA. So, today's briefing, well there isn't one, it just says LP star star. Uh, so we're going to say that these workers have been rather lax in their duties and need to be punished. So today we have five targets available to us uh, with no stipulations on how we go about dispatching them although we must eliminate them all whilst disguised as a construction worker and we have only one exit available to us. And so for today's challenge we will be starting under undercover in the construction area we're going to have a lethal syringe stored up in the house for sale and we're going to bring with us two more lethal syringes along with our silenced pistol. Everything else is available to us on the map. So right from the start and off the bat we are going to head for our first target immediately and he is quite a long way away. He's actually on the opposite side of the map from us. So we're going to run all the way past the creek area and the creek park there and around back to the rear of the map past Janus's house. And along this road here we're just going to quickly stop select one of our lethal syringes before continuing on to the construction site at the very corner of the map where we will find our first target now there are a couple of guards in this area and the postman will be here shortly so we need to get this done relatively quickly so we're just going to jab our target in the back with our needle he will then drop down dead and we can then move on to our next target. Uh, we're going to make our way back along the road the same way we came. And we're going to stop off at the house with the boat outside. And make our way over the fence and into the garden. Where just around the corner we will find two undercover guards. And a barbecue which has a propane flask next to it. So we're going to grab the propane flask and make our way back to the construction site where we started. And at this point I should let you know that due to the nature of the kills, namely the explosion kills and the poison kills, uh, we will be waiting around for quite a while each time someone's body is discovered and everybody goes into panic mode. So once we get back to the construction site, we're just going to make our way behind the green shipping container, place our propane cylinder on the bollard there, pull out our silenced pistol, take one shot at it whilst we're hiding in the bushes, and then eventually our next target will arrive and we can then blow him up with the propane cylinder. So with that done, we're now going to move away whilst all of the panic ensues and we're going to make our way to the house for sale where we have our uh, another lethal syringe stored up in the laundry room upstairs. So we're just going to grab the key from the plant pot on the right of the door, make our way inside and up the stairs and into the bathroom where we will find the tumble dryer and our lethal syringe. Once we have that we are going to exit via the front door and then we're going to make our way around to the garage and using the key once again we're going to open the garage door and make our way through the garage and into the kitchen. Now the kitchen is occupied by one technician or worker of sorts 
but we are only going to make our way just inside the door, grab a second propane cylinder, and then make our way back to where our remaining targets are all located, back at the construction site here. We're going to use the bushes for cover as uh, a, a means of just not being spotted by anyone. We're going to wait for the enforcer worker to finish his cigarette and move away. We're then going to place our propane cylinder roughly where he was standing. About here should do. We're going to again move into the bushes, select our silence pistol and take one shot at the propane cylinder. And all we have to do now is get a safe distance away and await the return of the enforcer worker. Uh, he should be making his way back over now and he will light his cigarette and blow himself to kingdom come. There he goes. Uh, he got quite a bit of height there and he's landed in the bushes. So once again, we are going to move away and where we blew up our first target, we should find a key. And we need that key for our exit, which is the red van construction worker exit. We're then going to continue on over towards the fence leading to Batty's garden. That's James Batty. And we're going to select our lethal syringe. And we're just going to wait here now for the bodies and the panic to all calm down and everyone go back to their usual routine. And we will then find a second worker enforcer by a propane tank here. And we're just going to select our lethal syringe, jab him in the back. Once again, move away a safe distance. And our final target will eventually come along and find his body and once again panic will ensue we're gonna wait here in the bushes just by this dead tree and the clearing and eventually when everybody goes back to their usual routines our final target will stand in the clearing with his back to us and we can jab him with our final syringe so that's all of our targets now taken care of the only thing left for us to do is to make good our escape and as I said there is only one exit available that is the construction workers van which is just at the edge of the construction site on the road here so we're just going to make our way over there and unlock the van with the key we've collected and off into the distance so there we go one more a uh, trending contract taken care of we just get confirmation that everybody was eliminated according to plan and we used the required exit and this will get us our silence assassin rating i have been anubis and i will see you all in the next video